Rekobox Stems is here, and I've got an easy way for you to get it on your DJ controller. If you own any of these DJ controllers, then just click the link to download the mini mapping, install it into your DJ controller, and watch the first half of this video. If you don't like my mini mapping and want to change it, or want to set it up on a different piece of record box ready DJ equipment, then just head to the second half of the video where I'll show you the DIY method. Yes, you can do this on any record box ready Pioneer DJ gear. That's old controllers, all in one units, CDJs even. Also, you're welcome. After signing up via the link, you will get sent the following files. Just download the relevant one for your controller. Open record box, click here, then click import, find the file and hit enter. Again, you're welcome. Here's how I've mapped them out. On any DJ controller with the MIDI mapping file, just head to pad effects one and you'll see that pads five, six and seven will toggle on and off the drums, the vocals and the instruments. Toggling the record box stems effects on and off is as simple as holding shift and then pressing a combination of the different headphone cue buttons. This varies slightly across the controllers, but here you can see how to access those different stems across those different controllers via the MIDI mappings that we've provided. If you want to find some cool ways to use stems, then check out our Rekordbox Intermediate course. Link's just here. Step one, click MIDI in Rekordbox and then add the track separation function. This is under the deck tab and we want to add all three, active drums, active vocal and active instrument. We then want to add them again. And this time we want to change those three to deck number two. If you have a four channel controller, just repeat this process and choose text three and X four in this section. The beat effects isolation is within the effects tab. Again, just add track separation and add those three again. If you want to add part isolation, something I'm not bothered about, but if you want to do it, you can go in the mixer tab and add the part isolation as well for the drums, vocal and instruments or the mode. This is something I'm not that interested in, but if you choose to, this is where it's located. Step two, find the functions you want to delete. For this example, I'm going to replace some of the sampler pads because I might not use them that regularly. Okay, we just hit learn and then we can check what those pads are in the MIDI codes by just tapping one and you can see it's already assigned. So we need to delete it. Once we've figured out the pads we want to delete, that moves on to the next step. Step three means we need to delete the pads we don't want anymore. So as you saw, this category was in the sampler tab. So we just go to sampler and we find the sampler five play and stop buttons. So what we're going to do is start with sampler five and then we're gonna do five, six and seven. You have to delete these one at a time. So we press delete, okay. You'll notice I deleted them for both dex one and dex two. Again, repeat this if you're using up to a four channel controller. Same applies for the effects section. If you want to remove some features, you can try shift functions, such as holding shift and pressing one of these two buttons or these buttons. You can find those MIDI mappings and remove them out. Just think about what you don't use on your controller and then get rid of them. Step four, it's simple. We just click learn. Step five, go back to the track isolation options and just click the pads that you want to assign them to. So if I'm on active part drums on deck one, I'm going to press this button here and you'll see it assigns a MIDI code. Then I go to the vocal and I press this one here. And then I go to the instruments and press this one here. Now please note to go onto deck two, I'm not in sampler mode. So make sure you uncheck learn, press sampler and then press learn again. So then I'm already in that mode ready. Again, the same applies for the effects. If you want to map them to any features, just get ready, press learn, and then make sure you're toggled on that MIDI mapping assign and press the combination. You can then test that it works by jumping to a point in the song, and then I can toggle these on and off. That means it's working. Step six, leave a comment. But seriously, if you found this video useful, just leave a comment with something awesome. Have fun and share this video on Reddit, Facebook groups, and with your DJ mates. Also, if you haven't seen the Flex 10 review yet, just watch this video.